Hi guys, Gaming Bay here, just doing a quick review of the Renault G1 and comparing it to its uh, big brother, the heavy, the BDR G1B. So you're thinking, okay, why would I go for uh, for this G1 rather than the uh, the BDR? So let's have a quick quick look at them. Right, armor-wise, the medium has actually got more side armor than the. Uh, than the heavy, which is very nice. The turret isn't quite so strong, so the turret is stronger on the, the BDR G1B. So yeah, that's the difference between the medium and the heavy. But movement-wise, you've got top speed of 40, similar engine power, but a better power-to-weight ratio, and then we look at the, the rate of fire. Well, six rounds to six six point three on the uh, on the B on the B version. Well, okay, so what's that about? Right, we've got the better view range of 350 metres in comparison to 320. Let's get back to looking at that gun. Right, you've actually got on this... Doesn't I thought it would show there. Yes, we've got uh, a 105mm and a 90mm. So, in essence, what you're, you've really got on this bad boy is the same 105mm as you get on the M4 and the Hetzer. The, but on those, if you have a look at the, uh, the gun itself, this has got the infamous, I think it was 105mm before, but this has got 53mm for standard HE and for premium 104mm of penetration. Let's have a look at the, uh, the the American tree. Let's have a look at the uh, the M4. The M4, similar gun, 105 mil. Your same 53 mil, but only 101 mil penetration. Now I know you're probably saying, "Oh, that that four mil makes no difference." Well, before the the 104 mil on the M4 Sherman had the same thing and they said it was overpowered it, I think it was 105 mil not 104 but those th additional three mil of penetration I think could potentially make the BDR the uh, the new G version actually more powerful the uh, the G1 the Renault G1 more powerful in real terms than the uh, the M4. I've played nine games so far, and I've had a 56% win chan win rate with it. Which, looking at it, okay, that's uh, neither here nor there. But for me, it's actually quite good. So I think, and and I've won every game since I've started using this 104 mil, 105 mil with 104 mil of penetration. So I think that this gun is something to be wrecked with. It's got a slightly lower reload than the the M4, but it's got that additional penetration, which with the arc, an arcing trajectory of the projectile, could make this much more effective on the battlefield than the M4. And like with the, the German, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the German tech tree. Let's have a look for the, well, it was on the, uh, the Panzer 4 H. Let's have a quick look. Similar gun. I was got, got the same 104 mm pen, so yeah, they've both got that 104. Whereas the M4 has only got the 101, so they're both about the same. So, but I th I think working on the uh, the G1, it actually works better but to give you that higher win rate. You need to play it like a a sneaky sniper. And wait for people to uh, to come into range and then take them to pieces. 
you can actually use the armour quite effectively and we'll have a look at that in a second in Tank Inspector to show you how good this armour can be. Okay, similar tanks, but let's look at the, uh, the armour profile. As you're noticing from this angle, 300 odd mil. Okay, I found the best position to, uh, to aim, aim over that bulge there. This area here, if you can aim the gun over that lump at the side, over this road wheel, this track and road wheel there, you, you'll have the best armour protection. So starting around about 90, going back to an auto bounce area, so 90 to 100-ish, and forward 55, this is, area is always a weak area. Going forwards, 90, 100, auto bounce, and the turret is slightly weaker. So this flat area is is weak. It's only about 60 mil. So this is a weak spot. Up on top, you're looking 85, 80 mil, you know, 90 mil. The sides, 90, 100 mil. So the body is basically impenetrable apart from this area. The, the turret is weaker, but if you waggle the turret, you can pull off some uh, some good bounces. Let's compare it to the uh, the M4. Here we go. Similar angling. As you can see, the armour is not as good. A lot worse. With this uh, the spacing, you can get shot shots through. And the area up here, which is a large target, will almost certainly go through. Whereas on the uh, on the G1, it wouldn't. The turret. Now this the turret is a, is a better story on the M4. The mantlet is stronger, and there's no bulbous area up there to uh, to shoot through. So the turret, it's it's six or one half a dozen of another. Okay, got the 10.5, penetration's the same, damage the same, DPM is down by 285. So because the, the M4's got a slightly faster rate of fire, that accounts for the extra 285 damage you can deal with. And there's an issue with the ammo capacity. You've only got your um, 35 shots instead of 46. So you're 11 shots down. So if you can survive longer into the battle, you may run out of, of ammo with the, uh, the G1. Shell velocity, very much faster, actually. So playing the two, you lead the shots less. There's the, the G1's... 105 mil is actually more accurate purely because you've got that additional third, uh, well, uh, in retrospect, 470 in comparison to 670. So that extra two, 200 meters per second vel shell velocity is is a noticeable factor, and I think that's going to make uh, that combined with the the extra three mil of penetration is going to make this uh, a force on the battlefield. It, especially with that stealth ability, which sadly at the moment, the camouflage values aren't available. But playing it, it seems more easy to hide. I've been able to ambush people much more effectively and be able to just kill more tanks on average than I do with the M4. Uh, purely because I, I like playing things more stealthily. The M4 is a more in your face chasing around, whereas, whereas the G1, can do that but it's really good at uh, the stealthy side of it as well so the maneuverability as we expect with the m4 it's got it traversing the turret it's actually uh, better for the uh, the g1 so yeah staying still moving the turret you've got better accuracy use that with the uh, the slightly better 10.5 better lead time better penetration same damage, uh, same damage per shot, same alpha, but less DPM. Make those shots count. Okay, let's look at the mobility. The power is down slightly. It's it's down by yeah, by ten horsepower, but the weight is up by approximately two tons. So specific power, just under thirteen horsepower per ton, whereas the yeah, the M4 has got just under fifteen. So that's a bit of a difference. Speed limits, 40 kmh, which is okay, but 48 for the uh, the M4, which is very nice. Reversing, 12 to 18, so the M4's got it again. So yeah, the, the, the M4 is much more manoeuvrable. Terrain resistance, hard and medium is the same. And then on uh, soft terrain, 
it's quite it's about 20 percent uh, worse so soft terrain you make it bogged down watch out for those areas so look to see where you're going your, your mobility in all aspects is bad in comparison to the m4 but it's worse in on soft terrain boggy terrain so what be careful for that the turret isn't so isn't so good so if you can force them to where uh, to shoot at you your hull get into a position where you can angle it then you could be safer use the the derp ability of the, the gun and protect these areas like the vulnerable amorak and engine and radio radio is neither here nor there but I've found that the engine could be an issue. So the engine is uh, is 30, 30 weaker, and that the ammo rack was, is uh, 40 weaker. So those are the, the American construction's better. So yeah, it's, it, the French design is it's it's weaker, but the overall body armor itself can stop those uh, those shells getting in. So it's I'd say that's neither here nor there. But it's the the turret you've got to watch out for. And just make those shots count but I've actually survived longer and come out alive more times in this as a percentage than I have with the M4 but I think that's down to purely the uh, camouflage ability of the, of the vehicle so when the stats come out I think that'll bear out what I've seen in practice so you've got this really good uh, 10.5 okay mobility great camouflage ability with a much more punchy gun with that additional uh, derp ability that you can actually get to the target quicker I I rate this it's, I'm playing it and I've uh, I've come up with a uh, a win statistic so far 56% so in comparison to the M4 where I'm running about 40% uh, 50% I'm not that bad <laughs> the where so with, I'm running about 56 percent with the uh, the G1 so f it's it's a nice tank it plays well I like it if you like stealthy tanks with a good gun this suits the uh, the 10.5 very well use the stealth use the camo I've gone for uh, for optics tank and rammer and for the uh, and enhanced uh, GLD gun, gun lane drive to be able to uh, to lay the, the gun on target more quickly. So I I think this is a hidden gem that's been overlooked, and I think you should try it before they nerf the um, the penetration of the of the gun, because I've got a feeling that that three three mil of extra pen this has got will show up on the stats, and I I think this will end up being nerfed so I would say get it and use it now before it's nerfed and if they don't nerf it keep it it's an it's a it's a, it's a gem it's a hidden gem so um, yeah I hope you like this review uh, put things down in the comments and if I can help with any questions just ask I'm gonna put some gameplay up after this and show you this uh, this bad boy working and I may uh, follow it with some M4 gameplay so you can see the difference between the two vehicles so uh, I want to get get this up quickly and uh, I'll see you on the next one and let me know what you think thanks guys see you soon watch and learn faithful minions watch and learn
just keeps giving. Never underestimate the power of human stupidity. Never, Never underestimate the power of human stupidity. I swear I could have fallen face first into a bucket full of tits in this game and still come out sucking off them. This game initially developed more or less the way you usually can't be expected. Can we do better than that? Pick on stars with care, going for the big boys. has the gross misfortune to be sound with a team that is thoroughly incompetent, a team so hopelessly useless that they couldn't organise a piss-off in a brewery, an orgasm in a brothel, a team that is about as much use as a solar-powered flashlight or tits on a fish. Never underestimate the power of human stupidity.
any kind of justice in this world. And that's anyway, final replay of the video. Estimate the power of human stupidity. I have you now, Yankee Dog. Fine. Are you are going in. Not so bright, I'm going to Never underestimate the power of human stupidity. Good. Never underestimate the power of human stupidity. I've had enough. Good. Even more damage. There's his first kill. So, let's get the bad stuff out of the way, right at the start, and then we can concentrate on the positive.
Move, spot, shoot, kill. Never underestimate the stupidity. Load, high, explosive. Even more damage. There is no justice in this world.